I've been reading a number of questions about range, although maybe not the one you were thinking of. Hi, Brian from Airflow Music here once again. Welcome back to another video. This is day 59 of our Go Practice Daily series. I'll keep this one a little short, as you may be able to hear. Slightly sore throat, little frog in there. So, don't want to talk too much, although I'm absolutely fine. And the COVID test came back negative, so just a bit of a cold, most probably. Anyway, like I said, there have been a bunch of questions about range, but actually, a number of you, refreshingly, asking about how to play the low notes more easily, which is really what I'm talking about. Let's get into that. That's much more fun and interesting to me than the high notes, actually. So, the thing we need to deal with in particularly in terms of playing exercise one in our current daily drill set, the stability exercise, a number of questions were about that specifically. Like after you come from some of the high notes, sometimes it's more difficult to make the low notes speak. Okay? And the trick to this is really not over focusing and over directing the air. What I mean by that is it's very easy when we've been blowing the higher notes to kind of really get into trying to put some air through it and really get that moving, that's not going to work on the lower notes. For the lower notes, it's it's a much kind of wider and closer sort of breath, much more akin to uh, breathing to fog up a mirror, something like giving it a kind of sort of a warm breath to fog up a mirror rather than blowing too hard. And the tendency is, like I say, after you've been projecting the air through to try and get the high notes, then if you don't back off from that enough when you come to the low notes, they often don't want to speak. Okay? So that's my tip for that. Try and think about that and keeping that air very wide and close on the low notes, and I think you'll find that it speaks better. Anyway, quick tip for you there. Let's get into the exercises for today. We are doing set seven. Here's exercise one. We're quite familiar with this by now. Now we're into the middle of the second full week of it. So... We're playing the major thirds. The pattern remains as it has been. I'm playing this as a long setting, which means I'm keeping the mouthpiece on my lips throughout, keeping my chops set throughout the whole exercise, all 26 phrases. Whether or not you are, the remainder of the rules remain the same. We are actually focusing on playing in time here. So I have the metronome going at 60 beats a minute. I'm tapping my foot along with it, and I'm subdividing the beat to make sure that I'm tapping my foot and playing accurately in time. I recommend for this, since we're dealing with groups of five in exercise two, that you subdivide the beat in groups of five in exercise one to help prepare you for it. Beyond that, I am breath starting the first note of each phrase and attempting to breathe in time on the rest bar. Here's exercise one.
personally had a minor hang up with exercise one today in the fact that, like I say, with a slight cold or some allergies or whatever it is going on, um, it was a little tricky breathing through my nose at times. Just a little congested, so I had to go a little slow with that. Partly so I didn't breathe out too quickly and make a terrible mess for all of you. And partly so I didn't kind of splutter too much and fail to get any air in. So that made it interesting. Anyway, other than that, a couple of things didn't quite speak because I didn't get the best breaths always. But other than that, exercise one was fairly smooth as ever. Now, one more thing about playing the low notes I should touch on. In addition to this kind of wide, close breath, the thing to resist the temptation of when you're going for the low notes is to loosen your corners too much. It's very common for us to want to kind of let go here because we don't think we need that support. Or likewise to let go with our breath support because we don't think we need it down low. Well, in actual fact, that's exactly when you need it. And if you really want to keep those registers connected together, it's important to keep those things in the mix. Once again, just something quick to think about. Anyway, let's move on to exercise two. Exercise two, we are still doing from set seven. I'm sticking at 76 beats a minute. I'm determined to get this thing down properly at 76 beats a minute before we move any faster. It's getting there, things are improving, but it's still inconsistent, so that's what we're going to do. It's the same exercise once again we've been doing for 10 days or so. So we have 12 beats of moving notes, so the first four beats are slurred, second four beats are tongued, then two beats slurred, two beats tongued, followed by the four beat hold note, then the eight beats rest. Call it in beats rather than bars now because we're in 2 4 rather than 4 4. Other than that, it's the same overall pattern that we've been dealing with. These are the quintuplets, the groups of five. So don't freak out about that, don't worry about that. Five evenly spaced notes in a beat rather than four. Now it's a little unfamiliar, but that's part of what we're practicing. Let's get into this one. We're going at 76 beats a minute once again. Here's exercise two.
There's exercise two. Generally, on the whole, pretty good today. Felt fairly happy about that. The low Ds to F sharps came out pretty smoothly. I was surprised. Of course, the low Gs to Bs, I tripped over my fingers a little and let myself down. But overall, that was okay. We're coming along. We're getting there. 
How are you finding these? Is the tempo starting to bed in a little bit now? Are we starting to make it through some of these trickier fingering combinations? Please leave a comment below and let me know. Anyway, that's it for this one. I will be back with another spin through set 7 tomorrow. Or maybe we'll think about upping that tempo on exercise 2. We'll see. I'll see how I feel tomorrow when I come to it. Other than that, if you have enjoyed the exercises and playing along, then do hit that like button. It makes a big difference if you do. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will be back tomorrow with another one. And until then, you know what to do. Go practice.